Welcome to the seasonal guide of the garden. At this time of the year, there's so much to see. You have the autumn tints on the trees, you have the cyclamen, the flowering bulbs, and you also have the berries and the fruits, which are looking stunning as you walk around the garden. It's definitely a time to visit, as there's so much to see. You don't have to go far into the garden to get some wonderful autumn tints. The tree behind me is Liriodendron tulipifera, or the tulip tree as it's commonly known. It goes this lovely butter yellow at this time of the year and will last for two or three weeks before all the leaves have gone. So definitely one to look out for when you head out of the visitor centre. Clarodendron trichotomum has lots to offer. Through the summer it has beautifully scented flowers, but the real star of the show as we head into autumn are the blue seed pods that are set off against the red calyx. Strobilanthes attenuata is one of those great plants for late colour in the garden. It's flowering just as you head out of the visitor centre at Treba and looks fantastic with the purple tubular flowers. It likes a semi-shady spot and doesn't mind a little bit of moisture, so good for some of those trickier conditions in the garden. Cornus Norman Haddon is another one of those plants that has the bonus of secondary interest. Not only does it have the creamy white bracts in the spring that turn a flush pink as they age, but it also has the bonus of strawberry shaped fruits that adorn the tree at this time of the year. If you want to seek them out, they're just on the left hand side as you head down along beach path, just before you get to Dinky's Puddle. Camellia Sisanqua Crimson King is the first camellia to flower at Treba. It's just started to flower now along Radiata Path and has beautiful crimson flowers with yellow prominent stamens and a light scent. The garden team have been working hard over the last few years to add to the collection of bulbs and corms in the garden. Cyclamen hedrofolium is one such success story and can be seen in various locations around the garden. It has beautiful pink and white flowers and is commonly known as the ivy leaf cyclamen. You can see why when you look at those beautiful patinated leaves. What better place to find some wonderful autumn colour than down at Alice's seat. We have a wonderful collection of aces here and they're just starting to turn. The other great thing about this area is you have some wonderful coloured stems as well. So once the leaves have dropped, you have that added interest. And just to cap it off, we have the beautiful scent of Ageratina ligustrina, the incense bush. Acer palmatum sangu kaku has so much going for it. In the spring it has pinkish yellow new foliage that turns green in the summer and a lovely butter yellow as we head into autumn. It also has the bonus of pinky flush new shoots giving it the name coral bark maple. Circus candensis forest pansy is another one of those plants that has multi layers of interest. It can be seen growing down by Alice's seat and has beautiful purple leaves in the summer that's followed by beautiful autumnal tints as we head through into autumn. Asa Rubrum Somerset is one of the stars of the show for autumn colour at this time of the year. It goes a gorgeous deep intense red 
and can be seen growing just off the right hand side of Radiada Path on the left of the viewpoint out over the Chilean Coombe. Thank you.